I still remember how loud the gun sounded, how bright the gun flare was, the terrible smell of the gunpowder. Then, not knowing what to do, if I should run, if I could somehow stop him. But it was too late. And all at once, I was alone. My parents were loved by Gotham City. I remember thinking that as many people came to the funeral as one of their lavish Christmas parties. Over and over, the people said the same things. Different words, but the same intent. They came to console me, to tell me how sorry they were, to assure me I was not alone, all except for one man. Carmine the Roman Falcone, the father of the largest crime family in the city. Even then, I knew. Your papa saved my life. Should you ever need a favor? This was evil. August 2nd. Significant not only because it was the last birthday celebrated by the late Carmine Falcone, but also, on that same day, acid was hurled in District Attorney Harvey Dent's face. Though Dent survived, his career, his life, everything, was destroyed. I lost a friend, of which I have few, and more important in some ways, I lost an ally in this war. Papa, my father would have appreciated you all coming here tonight. He loved his birthdays, and this one shouldn't be any different. As a result, I realize now that the burden of ridding Gotham City of the evil that took my parents' lives, men and women such as these, must be mine, and mine alone. With the death of my father, I think it is safe to say that many of you didn't believe the Falcone family could hold together. We now know that isn't true. On Halloween night, Sofia Falcone Gigante, the Roman's daughter, fell from his rooftop apartment in an attempt to kill Harvey Dent, despite appearances. Without her father, she is alone now as well. It's hot. Selena Kyle, mixed in with sorts she shouldn't be with, or should she? This is not the first time I have found her at a Falcone gathering. But not as hot as the night Johnny Beatty got married. Shh. Rawr. Umberto and Pino Maroni. Should you ever need anything, Sophia? representing the Moroni family and the Falcone's interest in narcotics. Edward Skivers. Your father is smiling down on you. Responsible for the importing, trafficking, and exporting of stolen goods. Miss Giganta, it's an honor. Anthony Zucco. Also from the Moroni family, Zuko looks after their trucking and transportation concerns. Just being here, he's climbing. It's a shame Mama and Johnny couldn't be here. My cousin, Lucia Vitti. The Vittis run Chicago. There is bad blood between the families over the death of her mother and her brother, Johnny. Bobby Gatson, one of my father's oldest friends. Gazzo is to Metropolis, what the Roman was to Gotham City. As conciliary to the Falcones, he helps with their political concerns. As many of you know, I could not attend my father's funeral due to my condition. My brother Mario was out of the country, and other brother Alberto is still not well. Sleep well, Papa. Dream the dream of kings. All of you are me familia, now. Together, we will make history in Gotham City by restoring the balance of power and away from the so-called freaks who have observed so much of our territories. Get him up! 
Keep your hands where I can see them, and come slowly towards me. I have tried to live my life by not repeating my father's mistakes. As much as I loved him, I knew he was not a perfect man. Sophia Falcone Gigante will have to learn the hard way. Her father's legacy holds no promise. Gotham City will no longer tolerate the gangster, the hoodlum in its midst. All that will remain of the Roman Empire will be the blood, the bullets, that many more graves, and a broken woman in a wheelchair. Ah! <laughs> Get back to the car. We do not want to be a part of this. We should go to Sel Selena. I recognize the Bola. She means to help, although I don't understand her motives. Catwoman. Reckless. She will probably get us both killed. Get down. Why are you here? Someone screamed for me to get down. Wasn't that you? This is the police! Stop where you are! The entire area is surrounded! Lay down your guns! Put your hands on your heads! Little fish. What's that you're saying, Commissioner? Some of the heads of the biggest crime families were all gathered here. And all we caught were little fish, Chief O'Hara. Been fishing every summer since I was a kid. You catch anything, it's a good day. Police Commissioner Jim Gordon and Chief of Police Clancy O'Hara have brought half the Gotham City police force. Good men who try to do their job as well as they can. But the responsibility. Vinny, VD, Vicky. Uh, now, what's that supposed to mean? It's Latin. I came, I saw, I conquered. You know, there are animals, a lot of them. Harvey Dent did this city a whole world of good the night he put two into the old man's head. You're out there. I know it. Why don't you show yourself? It must be mine. And mine alone. My father's house. Little more than the study and the master bedroom. And the caves below ground. The rest remains empty. Thank you, Alfred. Guess again. I... Selina. I thought we discussed your coming over here unannounced. Didn't Alfred tell you I was coming? I'll have to speak to that man. Anyway, Bruce, there's someone I want you to meet. Bruce, this is Mario Falcone. Mr. Wayne, a pleasure. Weren't you deported? I was a teenager and made some mistakes. <laughs> the ignorance of youth. I, uh, family's reputation caused the judge to lean fairly heavy on me. Yes, judges in your family have a long history. Bruce, I came here to offer my friendship. No matter the past, Falcone Imports is now completely legitimate. Why tell me? My father more than once said that the Wayne family was synonymous with Gotham City. And that we were indebted to you, Bruce, for your father's- The debt, as you put it, is paid. Now if you'll excuse me, Selena, you know the way out. You keep behaving like this, Bruce. You won't have to worry about anyone coming here unannounced. September. It is raining in Gotham City. But Jim Gordon has other things on his mind. I know, son. I miss you too. No, Daddy doesn't know when you'll be coming home. I hope it's soon. James, can I speak to your mother? Oh. Then if she won't come to the phone, please tell her that... 
We're late, Jim. We'd better hurry with this rain. The traffic is going to be... Hold on a second, James. District Attorney Janice Porter, as a result of Harvey Dent's removal from office, the city council moved quickly to replace him. Harvard Law, top of her class, six years as DA in Boston, a lot of experience in a short amount of time. But Boston is not Gotham City. Does this look like a shoe in my hand, Counselor? I'll meet you downstairs in the garage. James, are you there? Tell your mother I'll... I'll try to reach her later. Bye-bye. Arkham Asylum. When the justice system fails to do its job, this is where the results are sent. Trouble at home? I... let's not have this discussion, okay, Janice? Fine. I just thought, with us working together... I don't consider what we're doing as working together. This is where Julian Day also known as the Calendar Man, is kept to prevent him from committing crimes that coincide with the calendar, and where Alberto Falcone, also known as Holiday, is kept to prevent him from committing murders that coincide with the calendar. Mr. Falcone, I'm sorry we're late, but at least I have some good news. Oh? We have a court date. The judge was very interested in reviewing your brother's arrest file. Gotham City is that much closer to putting the entire holiday matter behind it. I, I, I'm very grateful to you, Miss Porter. I know as district attorney you had to make some difficult choices. Oh, this is insanity. Alberto Falcone killed more than a dozen people as holiday. My brother and I respect your opinion, Commissioner. We just don't happen to share it. Oh, that's crap, Falcone. You're working the system, like your father did, and like his father did before that. That's enough. The police commissioner doesn't have to like what I do as a district attorney, but he still has to abide by the law. Judge Harkness will hear this matter and make a decision that we will all have to live with. Now, if both of you gentlemen will accompany me, there are still some details to be worked out. I'm watching you. I'm not the bad guy, Jim. And I know you liked working with Harvey Dent. But the city council appointed me to repair the damage he did while he was in office. You don't know the first thing about what Harvey did while he was in office. Fine. But it all leads us back to this holiday case. Alberto Falcone was beaten with an inch of his life the night of his arrest. Couple that with psychiatric reports stating he was insane during the time of the holiday killings. And I'm sure he wet his bed until he went off to Oxford. Do you want a long trail over this one, Jim? Do you think your reputation could stand it? Not to mention the department. I run a clean house. That's not the point. You and your men have to come to rely more and more on Batman crossing the line. And I'm sorry, but now you're going to have to pay the price for that. We should go. After her father's death, Sofia Gigante moved into his former penthouse. I want it on Halloween night, on the anniversary of my father's murder. We have the floor plans, entrances and exits, alarm system, the whole works. Forget about it, we got somebody on the inside and Zuko is handling the hardware. Then Harvey Dent is a dead man. However, Given that Dent is being held in the same facility where my brother Alberto is, I want to make it absolutely clear 
that nothing is happened to Alberto in the process. Nothing. Hey! Who turned out the frickin' lights? What's going on here? There's no need to be alarmed. I took the precaution of electrifying the balconies, just in case we had uninvited guests. Mr. Mirti will check and see if there's something or somebody out there. Oh. Sophia, we'd like you to consider to hit on Harvey Dent as our gift to you. Seeing as how our dad did half the job already. We ought to be the ones to finish it up, as a sign of our loyalty and friendship with the Falcones. Done. Excuse me, Miss Gigante. Anything? Something. The Gotham City Bridge. Midnight. How's the missus? The same, back in Chicago. She writes, but won't talk to me on the phone. I miss my son. Cops and marriages are like drinking whiskey before 11 a.m. It's hard on the man. Couldn't we have done this in the office? I'm not sure your office is safe. This is them. The best you can find. Does anybody else know about this? Not a soul. This was my first beat. I still walk home this way every night, just to remember where I came from. It was different then, wasn't it, Clancy? It was rough, but we held on to it. A cop meant something back then. Up until the Wayne murders. Thomas and Martha Wayne? Here we had two prominent citizens. Gotham's first family, in some folks' eyes, gunned down in the street. The case was never solved. Their blood wouldn't wash off the department. I don't think the boys in blue were ever the same. What about now? Do you think we can make being a cop mean something again? You really want to know what I think? You should go talk to the Bat. You need to tell him what's going on. I wasn't sure you'd come. You're on your own more and more these days. Porter, the new DA, she's set on releasing Alberto Falcone. She blames you and me. I thought maybe if you met with her, give her a chance to... Let Janice Porter do what she wants. I have my own plans. Which are... I know you're hurting. Harvey Dent was my friend, too. We've all lost so much. Oh, you should see him in that place. Surrounded by the same criminals he helped put there. I can't help thinking how alone he is at Arkham. How alone we all are. How long have you been there? Long enough. <laughs> What's the world coming to when I'm about the only one you can trust? What happened to you? I fell. Didn't you say something about trust? Damn you. I don't even know why I bother. I want something for this. Your friend, Harvey Dent, he's in danger. The Falcones intend to have him murdered in Arkham. He's not my friend any longer. Isn't there anything left inside you? Enough. Huh. I hope you'll show a little more interest when they come after me. You picked an appropriate night to finally visit, Bats. We both look ready for a Halloween party. I remember how important it was for you to get home to give out candy. 
do you hear from Gilda? Ready? Ready. Who the hell is Gilda? Your wife, Harvey. You could get plastic surgery, rebuild your life, and... <laughs> Don't kid yourself. The scars are a little more than skin deep. Go! 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 Gunfire. Promise me, Harvey. You have to promise that no matter what happens, you won't try to escape. Bolt that door. No one gets in or out. You don't have to bolt the... You're an idiot, Harvey. I have... miscalculated. From Catwoman's warning, I assumed that there would be an assassination attempt on Harvey, and on Harvey alone. No one has ever attempted a full frontal assault on all of Arkham. It would take intricate planning, intimate knowledge of the workings of the facility. You are not leaving, Hatter. A brazen willingness to turn this place into a madhouse. Literally. Yes! Free at last! No! Ivy, stay put. In the ensuing panic, every criminal here becomes a suspect. Joker. Scarecrow. They were prepared. It was made to look random. There were choices made of who got out, and who stayed. <clears throat> Solomon Grundy, born on a mantra! <laughs> Even this, sending Grundy to occupy me. He is fast and powerful. My only choice is to pound away at him. Person benefits the most from all this. Tonight being Halloween, the ruse attack on Harvey. All of it would expedite Alberto Falcone's escape. Calendar Man, where is he? <clears throat> Julian Day has left the building. Why didn't you run, Falcone? An innocent man has nothing to run from. If not Falcone, then. Harvey. Where is Harvey Dent? Dead, I hope. Couldn't have happened to nicer guy. If you pursue this, I guarantee you will lose everything you have left. Everything I have left? Look at me. I can't walk. I can't turn my head. I can't even go to the bathroom on my own anymore. All thanks to your Harvey Dent. Look at me. November. Gotham City Courthouse, docket 9, Judge Harkins presiding. You understand, Mr. Mario Falcone, that by releasing your brother into your custody, you must take full responsibility for him. Yes, Your Honor. I intend to keep him on a very short leash. An electronic monitor will be on his leg at all times. Any violation will not only be seen as a one-way ticket back to prison for him, I will also make it my personal business to see that immigration takes another look at the deportation of you, sir. You'll regret this for the rest of your life. If it pleases the court, my... <clears throat> our grandfather had an estate just outside the city, near Wayne Manor. We'd like my brother to live there. The court will take that under advisement. Mr. Alberto Falcone, do you have anything to say in your own behalf? Only that I am sorry, Your Honor, and I'm, I'm grateful for being given a second chance, no matter how restricted. We have no formal statement to make at this time, other than that we are pleased with the judge's decision and grateful for the hard and courageous work by District Attorney Janice Porter. Are you sure you think that's a real is the Mario about the city? Let it go. Who? Who's there? I'll be watching Alberto very closely.
sorry to butt in on you, Miss Gigante, but this just arrived. I opened it to be on the safe side. Madre di Dio! It's Papa's finger. His wedding ring. Why would anyone? It's an old style message. Someone intends to take everything from you. Peace by peace. Janice? You in there? I came as soon as I heard. Arkham is still a nightmare. At least you weren't here when the break-in happened. They took it all, Jim. Every last bit of it. Every last bit of what? All of Harvey Dent's file cases. Everything he did in this office as DA. You should have someone cut him down. We... In the past, you... You've wanted to examine a homicide scene undisturbed. God. This was the beat he walked for 30 years. 